Okay, time for the May Cotabradera member tip. So, hey, we're heading into summer now. We're starting to get some really good weather. And something that I see consistently that I think uh, is a bit confusing is ball position, right? So today we're gonna talk a little bit about ball position and you know maybe some things we've been told over the years that I think add variables to the game that we don't want and why I like what I like. And by the way, I didn't invent this. I stole it from two of the best ball strikers of all time in their books. Okay, so over the years, you know, we've all been told, hey, I've got this like kind of conventional T-square here with these two sticks. And we've been told that you move the ball around in your stance and that a driver's way forward and a, you know, wedge is way back. And personally, I just don't believe that. We're gonna get into why. Okay, number one, if I take the club and I make the face square and I balance the club kind of to the left center of me, that is the only place that that club points at the target, right? So if I put that on the ground like that, that is the only place that this club points at the target. Because if I move it back, it points right. And if I move it forward, it points left. And we're swinging this club around us on an arc. So that would be where it would point. So if you're moving the ball around in your stance, how are you going to bring it back and point it straight? Because on track, man, we know that 80% of where the ball goes is where the face points. So again, I think that's some variability that we're trying to eliminate. And I think that kind of what I'm about to show you, I think is going to really simplify your thoughts. Okay, so let's take that that the letter Y here of your two arms in the club and that it points at the target at the left center of you and that at impact, most of us are standing a little bit more on our front foot because we're moving in the direction of the target, right? Just like my medicine ball toss drill. So you kind of want to position the ball in your stance where when you're in this impact position, that it points straight. What I found for most people is that it's, I don't know, it's left of center for sure and it's a little inside left heel, uh, club head width or maybe a little bit more. And you know, that's really where this points straight. Now here's why people always perceive that the ball is moving around their stance. Like I said, George Newton and Ben Hogan had this exact image in both of their books. If I take my right foot and instead of say like with a full swing with a driver, I'm like this, if all of a sudden I bring my right foot closer, well, that's chipping, isn't it? And everybody goes, oh, the ball's way back. No, 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 it's still in the flat spot on my letter Y in the left center of me, just my right foot's moved closer to my left foot. That puts the center point of me or the pendulum on the front side of the ball. Again, I mean, these are all things we can get into another video. And so if you look at a full swing and you said, hey, it's just left of center and you move your foot closer, now it looks way back. But really all you've done is you've changed the width of your right foot. And like I said, this was in Hogan and Newton's book that they, the variability that they controlled was the width of their right foot. On a chip, when you're not hitting the ball very far, well, you're not moving weight around very much. I'm only, you know, tossing the ball a little bit or I'm just making a little small swing. So the weight between my two feet is not moving much. Whereas with a driver or a full swing, I'm loading to my right leg and I'm unloading to my front leg and moving between my two feet to produce more force. So ball position to me should be kind of that, where it's constant, it's just left of center, that's where the face and the club point straight. Again, I don't want this video to be too long, so there's a bunch of other variables that go into making this work. But if you simplify down to where you position that ball wherever the club points straight when it's in the left center of you, I think that'll eliminate some variables of ball position, I think it'll simplify it, and I hope that helps your golf.